Thank you for clicking on my video and this is my review of the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom as it's known in Japan. Um, here we have the PAL version and we've got Super Mario in there, we'll get that going in a bit. Um, I got this one in here for the with the box for about £45. It came with about six games which I was quite chuffed about. Um, I really wanted another one after I got rid of the one as a kid. I don't know if I got rid of it or what happened to it, but anyway, it's gone now, but I'm really glad that I got this. Um, as I said before, this is the PAL version, released in 1992. I'll give you a quick tour of the system here. Basic power on and off, eject, reset, your cartridge slot. And unfortunately, this one has some yellowing on it, but I personally think that it adds to it. Adds to its charm, so to speak. Got your AV slot, your RF out, and of course your adapter slot. Um, now, the thing with this is, this was released as a competitor to the Sega Mega Drive, or the Genesis as it's known in the US. And I think, personally, it did a better job. And I think also think that this one looks a lot better than the American one. The American one's really blocky and then I, I just don't like it. I prefer this one. Especially the controller, whereas on the American one they've got all those pastel colours. This one's bright, colourful colours. I don't know if that was their attempt at making it more like child-friendly kind of thing, because the Mega Drive was sleek and black. And this one's like quite bright. But anyway... This actually survived well into the 32-bit era when the SNES, um, the SNES, the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn was around. This thing was still going strong. Even though Nintendo was working on the N64, they kind of held back from it a bit and they wanted to prove that this still had some life in it. I don't know if people maybe thought they were getting robbed with other consoles, like Sega, for example. I mean... Once the Saturn came out, they kind of forgot about the Mega Drive, didn't they? But, mind you, they kind of forgot about the Saturn. But, anyway, back to the system. Um, this has quite a good cult status today. A lot of people play it, whether it's on an emulator or the actual system. I personally don't like emulators. Um, I prefer to play it on the, NAS on the original system, but that's just me. And a lot of emulators, the sound and things like that, they don't, well, emulate them too well, so to speak. But we're going to get some games showed up for this, just to prove that it does work. And, well, for old time's sake, because we can really. So I'm going to pause the video now, and we'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so we're going to stick with Super Mario World. Let's just turn this on. Oh, if I can push the button. And here we go, title screen still coming up. Still works perfectly. I love this. Much better than things like the Xbox, which tend to break after a while. I know there's a lot of moving parts in them and things like that, but this is future proof. You're guaranteed for years. Now, because I only have one hand on this, this is not going to go too well. But that, uh, yeah. I'm dead already. But anyway, you get the point of this. And I'm sorry about the choppiness of the video or if I'm stopping and starting a lot. I'm still getting used to doing this, but I'm hoping to improve. So if anyone's got any hints or tips for me, then I would really appreciate them. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel for a lot more videos and have a look at the videos that are already on there. Now, I think I'm going to start doing a Nintendo season because I have all the consoles apart from the Wii U. Nothing against the Wii U, I just, I don't have one. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go through all the systems. I probably should have started with the Nintendo first, the original Nintendo, but I'll we'll probably get round to that at some point. And just for old time's sake, this is probably my favourite of all the systems that we've got. So, thank you for watching and... Look forward to more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.